Hello and welcome to the 9-1 News. The headlines. Ukraine invasion. Russians close at Kiev but meet strong resistance. The mother putting on a smile despite fears for her family. Pilot uninjured after small plane crashes on frozen lake in central Alvatra. Russian assaults on the Ukrainian capital Kiev have been met with fierce resistance, as the Ukrainian military says it has fought of several attacks. The military said in a Facebook post early on Saturday that an army unit managed to rebel Russian forces near its base on a major city straight. President Zelensky earlier warned Russia would try to storm Kiev. The Soviet government confirmed there was fighting on the street and urged people to stay at home. I am writing this in a warm shelter several stories below ground with a crowd of people, four dogs and a pet rabbit. Hotel staff run round wagging on doors soon after midnight before hiding us down multiple flights of stars at high speed. It looks like they've overreacted to a rumor about a landing of Russian paratrooper, but it's hardly surprising. Everyone's on edge here. Earlier in the evening, we visited Hanna Saiba and her family in a giant apartment block across the road. A small plane crashed on Glenifal Lake in central Alberta on Friday afternoon. But RCMP says the pilot, who was the only person on board, escaped without injury. Recovery efforts are underway to remove the plane of the ice. In Israel, RCMP said in a news release, circumstances surrounding the unintentional landing are not criminal in nature and the investigation has been concluded. The RCMP did not provide details about its investigation or what happened, but noted the Transportation Safety Board of Canada was involved in the investigation. And that's Saturday, 9-1 news from everyone here. Goodbye and take care.